How you doing guys and welcome back. Welcome back to another adventure here in Miami. Well, actually we're heading to Key Biscayne and if you know the area, it's right next to downtown Miami. And if you know what happens at this time of the year, you know exactly where we're going. All right, so we have made it here to the Miami Boat Show once again. The best place so you can come, daydream. And we're about to daydream right about now. All right, so we're spending our beginning of the day, Valentine's Day, here at the Miami Boat Show. We made it in to the best place on earth, right? For you, yes. We're here at the Miami Boat Show 2020. Buy me a boat. And uh, we're gonna see what, what they have in store for us. And, uh... and right away when you come in, you'll see this surprising sand sculpture, a Jeep Wrangler made out of sand. And also, I have a surprise for you guys. Well, if you don't already know, but yep, these are the guys that are organizing the Miami Boat Rally. And you guys can check out the details online. We decided to check out the wet docks first. And if you're a sea lover or a boat lover, definitely this is the place to come because this is paradise. We're here with concept right there i think this is uh this is a 27 and then we got here the 30. so this is one i used to have but mine used to be cutty cabin so they changed it up a little bit that's a really cute fabric this is a really cute little book yeah super nice Beautiful, sure, right? yeah we got this one this is a 30. And we got a 32. And here we have a 36 concept that I also used to have. If you guys follow me for a while now, the 36 was called Tequila Pusher. But now this is a new design, a open center console. Here we have the biggest concept they make is a 44 footer center console cutter cabin with quad 450 Mercs. And here with Barrett, 
asking a few questions about the Intrepid because she told me it cruises at 40 and it tops out like in the mid 50s. That's correct. How does it go so fast and so heavy? <laughs> Uh, we run the boat with a single step hull on the bottom with a variable dead rise going aft. So all of our premise on the boats from 24 feet to 47, we try to make every boat run at 40 miles an hour and top out about right around 60. Wow, I'm really impressed being so big, so heavy. It's really good. And I love the layout. Wow, this is beautiful. I guess this is the next step up, right? Wow, this is gorgeous. My bed, and I guess that'll be the kid's bed. Really good. Wow, look at the bathroom. It actually has towel. Nice, though, nice. What's the beam on it? 14? The beam on that one's like 13. Too. Very nice. And we're gonna keep walking around and look at the beautiful boats. And if you guys are like me, an old school boater, you remember back in the days when a single engine, a 300, was a lot of power. Nowadays, that is barely nothing. When you see boats with three 300s, even four, even five, and now even six. But not 300s, 450s. All right, so let's check out this uh, Freedom, Brady White. I guess similar, oh, no, this is a, like a ball rider. Pretty cool. All right, this is uh, something different, I guess, for Grady White. Wow, pretty nice setup, pretty cool. Nice setup. Spacious, oh, I got two doors. One there, one there. Oh, this is cool right here. This is something really different for Grady White. Uh, they're known for their walk arounds. But I guess they're, you know, they're changing up their style. Looks really good. Nice lounge area. Nice driving station, the helm. And look at the controls. Whoa. This is super nice. And you can actually don't get wet. And I feel AC. Where's the AC? Oh yeah, AC right there. Very good. I like it. Really nice. And little sunroof. Check it out. This could be me, right? All right, let's check out the cabin. Wow. Surprising spacious. the galley very 
really good. Nice. That was a beautiful grady white. But now we're gonna keep walking around because the boat show is an all day event and this is only part one of many more videos coming up. We're back at the boat show with Google. 